to Colchester's Most Haunted. I'll be taking you on a journey to three locations synonymous with paranormal activity. Together we'll be exploring the ancient ruins. Burnt down factory. Right, we need to get out there now, so... We'll and an isolated church. My name is Ian McLean. I'm a documentary maker. I've come to Colchester, Britain's oldest recorded town, to explore and investigate alleged paranormal sightings. Although I'm something of a sceptic, I'll be going into this journey keeping an open mind as I visit the locations of paranormal activity and speaking to those who have claimed to witness these sightings. First is St Botolph's, which is said to have a tall dark figure which lurks around this ruins. Now I'm going to show you a reenactment of what happened to a person who passed through here one night. A boy who didn't want to be named decided to walk through the ruins. mistake. By the time he could understand what the thing was, it was gone. In a few moments time, I'll be taking us down to the abandoned building on East Hill in Colchester, where apparently many paranormal sightings have been seen. As for now, I'll be speaking to a man named Jacob, who claims he has also seen paranormal sightings in this very park. So Jacob, could you paint a picture for me, please, of this of this paranormal sighting that you've claimed to see? Um, I was walking along and a thing uh, just decided to uh, jump out at me and, and it was gone for a second, so I just thought I, I didn't know what to do. Okay, so you, did, you, did you see it f face to face or was it just a feeling? T tell me. Cause... It was a, like face to face, but it was so faded and distorted. Tell me about the scratch on your arm, was that part of um, escaping from this? Yeah, basically, he just kind of jumped at me and I uh, got shocked and went backwards and then he attacked me, so I scratched on my arm. Very, very real. Now, a lot of people say that ghosts are real, but no scratches, they clearly are real. Yeah. Oh, no, that is nasty. Well, thank you for sharing me that tale, Jacob. And now we're going to explore the abandoned building on East Hill. Hoping to find some ghosts or whatever. So here we are at the bottom of Colchester's East Hill to find the abandoned building that was burnt down during the 16th century that apparently is still haunted to this day. Now we're going to find if that information is true or not by exploring it. abandoned site we're about to go in and explore to see if we can have a little look around um, yeah see what see what's like in there right so quickly come on let's go let's have a quick look inside a lot of derelict around here
So we're here at St Martin's Church where the boy allegedly saw the poltergeist. We'll be investigating to see how spooky the scene is inside. So we're just about to enter the church where the paranormal activities have taken place. The sun's just going down now, so the chances of any, any pulse guys or anything coming out is more likely than ever now that it's dark. So let's enter. This is a very eerie atmosphere in here already. Almost seems quite abandoned this church other really than you know the camera crew and all our equipment. This place would be completely empty. Books, books are always a sign of poltergeist. So what I've been told is the boy came in and apparently the book fell off the shelf and immediately ran out. Okay, so according to the story that I've been told, the boy was sat on these chairs, this row of chairs here, when he heard the book fall down. After hearing the book fall down, he then walked over to the bookcase we're now going to show you a reconstruction that me and my producers believe what happened on that very night when the, uh, the pole ghost occurred. to the paranormal, I am sensing a bit of a chill in here and that sort of the details of what I heard happen on and now is only furthering uh, my fears of this place. It is feeling very cold in here so we're going to move on. Thank you for coming with me on this eye-opening documentary about Colchester's most haunted locations. A special thanks to those who took part in the film and for the stories told. Until next time, goodbye.